And our third main topic today is submitted to us from Philip G, who writes, Greetings and salutations, John. Well, greetings, Philip. So I know most of us haven't actually thought Daisy Ridley would be in the next immediate round of Star Wars movies since a lot of whispers say it's going to be Old Republic stuff. But honestly, with all the rumors of her being Batgirl, which we just talked about a little bit earlier, for DC soon, and the other stuff that has her career really hot right now, I kind of thought Lucasfilm would want to take advantage of that and put her in. So I was a bit surprised when she confirmed that she wasn't going to be in the next round of Star Wars. Wars films. What do you think about this? All right. So what Philip is talking about is recently Daisy Ridley was directly asked. Now we all know there's a new trilogy of Star Wars films coming out from the Game of Thrones showrunners, Benioff and Weiss. That's coming. There's a lot of whispers that it's going to be Old Republic or at least set in the era of the Old Republic, which we don't know for sure, but, but maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But I think a lot of us, you're right. We're assuming that Daisy Ridley herself wasn't probably going to be a part of that. But anyway, just to be clear, somebody did ask her about that, and she said the following. This was, this was her quote about this. She said this. I mean, I can say I'm not in the next trilogy. No, I think because Ryan always said, if it's the Ryan one, which or the guys who did Game of Thrones, pretending like she doesn't know what's going on, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Whichever one it was, they always said it was going to be a separate story. So no, I'm not. No. Now, look, on the one hand, you're absolutely right. But the interesting thing here is that with her career getting hotter, like not only are there whispers about Batgirl, she's also got another film in the works called uh, A Woman of No Importance, which is about, I believe she uh, plays a British spy in World War II that helped turn the tide of the war and stuff like that, which is, she's got a career, and then she's got Chaos Walking coming with Tom Holland as well. She's got all that coming. It's not crazy of you to ask the question, you know, hey, with the, with the career getting hot, do maybe you want to capitalize on that and put her in there? I get it. But what do I always say? The movies are not there to serve the characters. The characters are there to serve the movies. Mm -hmm. You come up with your movie. You don't change your movies, your plans for your movies just because an actor might get hot. You know what happens when you do that? The final seasons of The Office. When mm -hmm. Michael mm -hmm. Scott left and there was no way in hell they should have made, uh, I can't even remember Ed Helms' character's name, um, oh, uh, uh, what they call him? They didn't know he called. He uh, called. He called Jim Big Tuna. tuna. Uh, and I, Andy. It was Andy. That's right, Andy. Andy. Mm -hmm. There is no way Andy should have been the centerpiece of that show yeah. after Michael Scott left the show. There's no way it should have happened. But the Hangover had come out mm -hmm. long, long ago. It's the hottest things, and they made a huge mistake of like, well, let's make him the center of the show, and the show suffered for it. That's what normally happens. So, look, yeah, I don't think many people are surprised that he's, she's not going to be in that, and that's fine. I do think they're going to come back to Ray eventually, mm -hmm. six, seven years down the down the line, which will be great because she'll be in her 30s at that point and all that kind of stuff. I think that'll be a great point. But for me, nope, no surprise that she's not going to be in these ones. Any for you, Aaron? No, no surprise. And like we said earlier, I mean, you know, she's spent the better part of her 20s playing this character. And yeah. she as an actor probably, I mean, it's important for her to change up her brand, not only for the way that she's perceived in the industry, for her to be able to get step outside of Ray, but also for her own enjoyment. I mean, I know a lot of actors that get really burnt out and they're appreciative of the incredible opportunity but you play the same character for four five six seven plus years and you know the the joy the joy drains really crap very fast yeah the enthusiasm start to die you can start like with anything fatigued. yeah that's that's why we see like some of these stars of these tv series who've been who've had a series running for eight years yeah. and it's like you think Oh my gosh, you might want to ride that forever, but a lot of them are like, I'm actually can't wait to not do this right. every day. So. And, a lot, and people say, oh, well, you're they're making so much money, you should just be so thankful. But you know what? It's all relative, you know. When, and once you have a certain amount of money, there is only so much money that you need to make in order to be satisfied. And if what you're doing every day for your job isn't satisfying to you, mm. then what does it matter how much of a paycheck you're bringing in? If your bills are paid and your basic needs are taken care of and you're going to work and you're hating your job every day, I mean, if you think about it on any level, none of us would want to live that life. So whether you're making $30,000 a year or $30 million a year, if you don't love what you do, then you're just not going to be happy. So I understand and I applaud anyone, whether they're an actor or a sanitation worker saying, I'm done with this shit. 
Nice problem to have. Ah, thirty million a year. Uh, oh, nice problem to have. I will think about well, that. Well, regardless of how much money in the, is in the bank, people always have problems. That's and true. In the immortal words of uh, Biggie Smalls, "No money, no problems." <laughs> no problems. And so, what do you guys think about that? Are you surprised at all? Or are you like a lot of us saying, "Nah, no surprise that she's not going to be in there"? Or did you think maybe there was going to be a chance that may try to fit her in? Jump down in the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right.